Hi, my name is Steve Tracy. I've got 20 years of licensed legal experience and I want to talk to you today about what are the fiduciary duties of a trustee. Being a trustee and having fiduciary duties goes back to the common law that came over on the Mayflower with us. Basically, the law went and imposed a criteria of obligations on people who choose to act for another person and with that other person's property. As an overview, if you have a buddy and you're on your way to the theater and you say, hey buddy, hold my 10 bucks. And then when you get to the concessionaire and you say, hey buddy, can I have my 10 bucks? And he says, I'm sorry, I spent it. That would be a breach of fiduciary duty. The duties basically fall into two camps. The first is an obligation to deal in every way, in every respect, in the best interests of the person you're holding the stuff for. And the second is a duty to account for all of the money and all of the profit and everything you've done with all of the property you're holding. Along with these duties include ideas like you shouldn't have a conflict of interest. Your duty to your person must be true. If you are acting as their fiduciary, they must come first. That means that you cannot represent anyone or work for anyone that would have an interest contrary to theirs. You cannot negotiate both sides of the transaction. You generally can't sell your own property to them because that would put you in a conflict where you're trying to make money off of being that fiduciary, which is strictly prohibited. There are many types of fiduciary relationships. As a trustee, you simply have to do what's absolutely in the best interest of the beneficiary you're holding the funds or the property for and account for it with proper documentation. Generally speaking, you will have the right to hire professionals to guide you in making good decisions. Your failure to hire professionals to help you make the right decisions will result in your liability if you've chosen wrong. That's the important obligations of a fiduciary. This is a screenshot of some of the examples that come under fiduciary obligation that fall into the two categories I described above. I hope this answers your question about the duties of a fiduciary, of a trustee. My name is Steve Tracy. You can find me at stevetracylaw.com.